third Big Ten title. And Liam Cronin ranked second in the country. They've met earlier this year. That was back on January 20th. It was a 38-second fall for Spencer Lee. Well, one way to pin great wrestlers here, and Liam Cronin is a solid wrestler. That bottom leg cradle here, you can see how flat he is. It only took 30 seconds. I think the Nebraska coaching staff is looking to slow this young man, Spencer Lee, down, but don't know how they're going to be able to do it. There you see Liam Cronin. From Nebraska, in the red corner, Liam Cronin. And out of the green corner, from the University of Iowa, Spencer. Papa John's new crispy parm pizza puts Parmesan cheese where it's never been before, on the bottom. How many subscriptions are you paying for? Rocket Money finds sneaky or forgotten subscriptions and makes canceling them as easy as clicking a button. On average, Rocket Money users save over $720 a year. Here's how it works. Just open the app, go to the reoccurring tab, and here you can see all your reoccurring subscriptions. Tap on the subscription you want to cancel. Then tap cancel now, and you're done. Subscription canceled. No confusing websites, no auto renew, no long hold times. Want to save up to $720 a year? Don't wait, get Rocket Money right now. Looking at their path to this championship final, Spencer Lee, 37 points combined. Those look like football scores, 17 and 20. Cronin had to battle back in that first round match against Braxton Brown. He beat the turf 11 to seven, and then knocked off the sixth seed, Michael D'Augustino, 2-1. And Liam Cronin, 20 and three this season. But guys, this is a different kind of animal in Spencer Lee. It really is, and Spencer's just, you know, he's been able to go ahead and get to that right leg, that leg that's back there for Cronin. I think he's going to try to keep that back as much as possible. We mentioned it a couple times, Tim, how he likes to live in that left-handed underhook. He's got to get find a way to get comfortable in some sort of tie here this match early. You can see his hands are really moving heavy, but when Spencer Lee grabs you, it's just another feel. When we talk about it, it's another level. It's not like Cronin isn't really good. He's really good. Uh, all these wrestlers and, uh, that Lee has come through are really good. Lee's just at another level. Like attack there for Spencer Lee, chest wrap from Liam Cronin. He's got that, uh, just trying to stuck, get his head out to one side here, chest two, wrap, as you mentioned, right Shane, and since he's, he's got control. both cheeks down on the mat right there and, and control here, referee stop, Ray Santiago stop, gives him the two-point takedown. Interesting observation, Jim. Right there with Liam Cronin. Gave up the two. A lot of times a guy would give that up and go to his base, but against Spencer Lee, you can't do that. Yeah, you just, you're better off basically chest wrapping there and looking for that stalemate. Good point. Here's what Spencer Lee's brought to Iowa. It's a dominance on top. He's always, when he takes them down, he's always looking for the points, always looking for the pin, put them to their back. It's just, it's just great for wrestling, and uh, the timing of his coming to Iowa was big. Yeah, and I think what's helped him is, is, is he's just so strong, and he's developed a tilt from this position. He doesn't necessarily have to have the arm trapped. He can collapse that arm against his the opponent's uh, torso basically now he's got a one-on-one -on -one wrist ride but he once he seals his chest of a man's back he basically rolls back and gets the points good job by Cronin getting the escape gets the escape 2-1 match Spencer Lee is what 54 straight as the Hawkeye right back in in a single leg Spencer Lee 94 career victories 38 of those ending in the first period good takedown and a return Cronin rolls 4-1 score yeah, that's what I was talking about. He's got 90, what, four wins, and the dominance that he brought to Iowa brought a dominant performance, a dominant style back when he came a few years ago, and it, it's, it was really needed by the Hawkeyes at the time. Spencer Lee, a three-time national champion. He'll look to become the fifth to win four individual crowns 13 days away in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But if you notice throughout his career, he's been able to stop guys in those roll-through positions and put them on their back, right? And remember the big match he had with Nathan Tomasello in the 
NCAA, I think it was the semifinals. He basically caught Tomasello on his back. Guys try to roll through and do those t things. They, they can get free with most guys, but Spencer traps them on his, their back. This is a rarity. <laughs> to show you how spectacular Spencer Lee is, he's got four points with 40 seconds left in the first period. We haven't seen this for quite some time. Cronin doing a nice job, but again, still giving up a couple of takedowns. Lee in control. He's at another level. Well, the number four also is a rarity, and Spencer, you know, pursuing that fourth national championship. Hawkeyes have had seven three-timers. Joe Williams, one of them, is going into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations to Joe Williams. Bob Bowlesby, also the AD for several years there. And so he's in rare air there, but from an accolade standpoint, he'll stand alone if he wins that fourth national title. So Spencer Lee takes riding time over two minutes, a pair of takedowns, leads it four to one. And here's the club that he is looking to join, the four-timers club. Pat Smith of Oklahoma State, current head coach, Kale Sanderson with the Nittany Lions. Kyle Thake did it at four weight classes. And Logan Steber, we'll see him a little bit later on, perhaps in the corner for Sammy Sasso. Steber, a four-time Big Ten champion and four-time national champion. Spencer Lee going on bottom here to begin this second period. Nice job there, spiral ride stopping Lee's first moves, coming basically up and comes back around. And, and good footwork there, getting back around. But I don't think Lee wants to, or Tim Cronin wants to go ahead and try to ride Lee too much. Look for him to get a little bit more active. Nice job of reacting to Lee's high crotch shot right there. So many fantastic accolades for Spencer Lee. He's a two-time Hodge Trophy winner, won the Sullivan Award. Just an incredible season. This is his final match before the national tournament, of course, in a couple of weeks. Just five more to go. If he times it right, he'll pick up his 100th career victory in winning his fourth national title. Hey, Cronin's doing a nice job of, of measuring Lee's shot right there. You know, those are shots that he normally gets when he drops down on both knees. Not many are able to work the head of Lee like Cronin has been, too. Yeah. He's got a 5-1 score right now, but uh, now's the time he's got to go on his offense here. In the second period with 50 seconds left, what, what's his go-to move here right now? And it's tough to work through that underhook. Remember, Cronin likes to have the underhook on the left-hand side himself. He's been able to get to it a couple times, hit some shots. 5-1 Spencer Lee, a couple of takedowns and an escape. Cronin's got that underhook. Now Collard's high on the left side. Half a minute remaining here in the second period. Cronin, TJ, one of five Cornhuskers. The Huskers, five for five in the semis yesterday. The uh, record-breaking performance for head coach Mark Manning. Short time is Lee once again with a leg attack, trying to tack on two more short time. That's what he's been able to do is usually come out the back door there, but Cronin's measured that fairly well. Looking for a stalemate with six seconds left. Final seconds tick off the scoreboard. We will see the third period in a Spencer Lee match. <laughs> it's kind of fun watching him wrestle a little bit. It really is, and I think Cronin's just doing a great job of, of testing him here. And you see that uh, straight on double, but it's still Spencer Lee. Just broke through right through that uh, double that he'd probably get a 99% of the guys. But this is not the 99, it's the one. And we've talked about it, Jim and, and Shane, about here you are in the sixth and seventh year. A lot of guys aren't getting better in that time. Cronin has uh, gotten better and better, and this year, the, the uh, sixth year senior is at the top of his game. Coming out of California, Servite High School went to Indiana. Spent several years in Bloomington before making the move to Lincoln. And he's heavy on that collar tie, guys. He's switching hands on it right there, left hand collar tie. Comes back to the right hand collar tie, hitting it, making the Move a little bit like he hasn't had to move in a lot of his matches. Spencer Lee this season, 16-0, only one match was not a major decision. That was in the dual meet against Minnesota's Patrick McKee. There's a stall call on Spencer Lee. Here's where the snaps and goes, the fakes, the snaps and goes. They've been working for Cronin all year. Right there, he's able to get to a low shot. Again, but those iron-like hips of Lee, drops his hips, gets his feet out wide there. Now he's looking to go ahead and score. Drops in on a single leg himself, collects the other foot right there. This should be points. There's two takedown for Spencer Lee. Lee. Now up seven to one. Riding time is secured, so he's up eight to one. 
What a career it's been for Spencer Lee. The winning streak at 54 straight last night. He surpassed the aforementioned Joe Williams, as you mentioned, TJ, three-time national champion. Very much deserved National Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee coming up in June for Joe Williams. Spencer Lee, that's eighth in the record books for longest win streak in Iowa history. Final seconds tick away. It'll be an 8-2 major decision. He's a three-time anyway, Big Ten champion. Spencer Lee, one more box to check in Tulsa. Four-time Big Ten finalist, three-time Big Ten and 